okay so now i'll search for space because it's time for genome assembly i'll search for space and i have space genome assembler for genomes of regular and then single cell projects so that's what i'll select and then after that i'll have this window so what's the operation mode and there are a number of operation modes that we can use but i'll maintain the first one which is assembly and then error operation and then when i come here single or paired then reads i'll select paired and individual data sets and then when i come here i'm supposed to choose the data that i want so i'll just uh, come to this side and i'll select the ones that are of interest to me so let me do that now so here it says multiple data sets and here it says data set collection okay uh, i'll also use the browse feature here so i'll come to the right side here i'll select the browse feature to select the forward reads so i'll select just this one here this one And then when I come to the reverse, I'll select the R2. So these are the files that I'm going to use. Now with the type of paired reads, the default is what I'll use. Orientation, I'll leave everything there. And then when you come here, you can select some options here. Okay, so um, we have isolate. It says it's highly recommended for high coverage isolated and multi-cell data. We also have careful, which tries to reduce the number of mismatches. So it's recommended for small genomes. The, the data we are using is microbacterial or trans isolates, which is small. So I'll use the careful flag here and then the others i will leave them as they are that's about it so i'll just execute uh, please know that whatever i'm doing is just an introduction so uh, you can always read the documentation for speeds and see if there are parameters here that suit your needs and then you can select them okay you can select or uh, deselect them so take notes so i'll just click on execute and then speed will start its activity and so here it also says that four outputs will be generated so we have the assembly graph assembly graph for scaffolds context and then scaffolds okay so these are the files that will be generated so um the assembly graph can be visualized using tools like bandage we also have context and scaffolds uh, with the space outputs, if uh, you check the documentation, I checked myself and then it's recommended to use a scaffold for the downstream analysis. So that's what uh, I recommend you also use. So once you have your genome assembly done, you have the scaffolds. Okay, so let's wait whilst genome assembly is being done. okay genome assembly has been done and that is why and the backgrounds of uh, these four files are now green so from the parameter that we selected four files have been generated we have scaffolds and the context we also have the assembly graph assembly graph okay and the assembly graph files can be visualized using bandage scaffolds and then context are fast a files they contain sequences from the space online documentation it is recommended to use the scaffold file for downstream analysis 